is it a license to massively kill people, destroy property, and destroy the assets of a country, a whole country or a whole society or community? The answer is no. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, made it very clear in his instruction when people ask him questions, when armies were sent, number one, the intent behind engaging in the battlefield must be pure. And you cannot have pure intention, as he stated specifically when asked, for if you go to the battlefield for economic benefits or resources or whatnot, it's not acceptable. Ghanima. Secondly, he said, if you fight so that you gain personal reputation, courageous, great leader, great commander, that is wrong. It's not accepted as jihad. Thirdly, fighting with narrow nationalism. He used the term asabiyya. My people right or wrong. If they're doing something immoral, I must support it. No. It is, it is not one of us who fight for the sake of parochialism, right or wrong. No. That's not justifiable. He said only those who fight so that the word of God becomes supreme. And what does the word of God say? That it says that there are only two conditions that you can go to the battlefield. That's the proper intention. Self-defense or against tyranny and oppression. There is no third reason that I can point to.